I am talking about in 1990s, etc. When uh, in West Bengal there was a strong left front government and virtually there was no opposition. What surprised us that in parallel introducing the buses, the authorities said that the tram depots has excess land. Those lands will be sold to the uh, real estate uh, businessmen. So you understand that when a, uh, the lands which are situated in the prime location of the city, these are sold out and definitely at a reduced rate from the uh, market uh, market rate, then there must be some kickback policy and dishonesty. So many people protested, including the workers, tramway workers union and many environmental agencies. But uh, basically we were uh, losing the fight. The question was, when the British company people, they purchased the excess land, there was a definite policy for that, like the railways. That the excess land which the railways had, now they are using those spaces for relaying the hard track or fourth track or fifth track, etc. So the excess land, which was apparently in excess, were earmarked for introducing more trams in the future, so that when the city grows, there should not be any dark of space for creating room for additional tramways in the city.